Now back when I was growing up, uh, they actually compounded interest very similar to the last example we showed you. Uh, the calculators and the uh, computers weren't as advanced, so what happens is we would actually take a savings book down to the bank and they would, they would print us uh, um, our interest rate as a deposit into our account every, whatever, three months, every four months, something like that. Well, things have gotten a lot more advanced, so now what they can do is they can actually compound interest continuously. I believe I may have forgotten a U. And that's not my pen. Sorry, you know how I am about forgetting stuff. So, continuously. Uh, for us to do that, what that basically means is they can compound your interest to the nanosecond. So if you keep your interest, if you deposit money and then take it, hours, take it out six months, two days, and four hours later, they can actually give you interest on that exact amount of time. The formula is a little bit different. It's A equals P E to the RT power. E is that natural base that we have been talking about. So something that comes up very often, where A is the amount of money after a certain time, P is our principal or original investment, R is our interest rate as a decimal, and T is our time in years. The one thing that you will see in a problem like this is that uh, the word continuously. So when you see that it says it's compounded continuously, you know you use this formula as opposed to the other one. So let's revisit Susie's problem and see if she can actually go to Europe now. Uh, Susie wants to go to Europe. She invested $2,000 for four years at 5.5% uh, interest compounded and here's that word continuously so again that basically tells us that that's the equation we need to use so what we'll say is we'll say A equals PE to the RT power and we'll plug the values in so we'll say A is equal to two thousand dollars and then E to the uh, four decimal zero five five times four power and we'll get our trusty little calculator back up here. Hopefully it'll wake up for me. Yep, so we'll say E. Let me try it again. There we go. E to the decimal 0, 055 5 times 4 power. Oops. And then just hit enter. And it gives me that. And then we're going to multiply that by 2000. So turns out uh, $2,492.15. Uh, $492.14. Now it may not look like that much of a difference. Uh, you can see in our last example she had $2,490.90. So it's just a, a you know a little bit more than a dollar probably a dollar and twenty four cents or something like that, but we're we're dealing with smaller numbers now. Obviously, if you bought a house and uh, you looked at the different differences, you know if your house is two hundred thousand dollars, that's going to make a big difference. Or if you look at something like the national debt, then this would be a huge huge difference in terms of the number. So uh, this will actually get you a little bit more of an accurate answer. So that's the one they use in the banks today.